Breaking news this hour, two major U.S. military attacks in Africa. U.S. Special Forces captured an al-Qaeda operative wanted for the 1998 bombings on the U.S. embassies in Kenya and Tanzania. Abu Anas al-Libi has topped the most wanted list for quite some time now. He was captured in Libya's capital of Tripoli. U.S. officials says the operation was conducted with the knowledge of the Libyan government. The U.S. had a $5 million bounty on his head. That's new information. Captured with the knowledge of the Libyan government. Al Libby joined Al Qaeda soon after its founding and is considered a senior member of the terror group. Now we go to Somalia. The U.S. Navy SEALs team went on a mission to nab an Al Qaeda an Al Shabaab, excuse me, leader possibly linked to that Kenya mall attack that left 67 people dead. The Navy SEALs had to withdraw before they could confirm he was killed because they were under fire. A U.S. official says he does not believe any SEALs were killed. We do not exactly know what happened to that Al-Shabaab leader. To the Pentagon now, and CNN's Barbara Starr with some new information. Barbara, what do you have? Well, Don, an extraordinary development late tonight. The Pentagon has just issued an official confirmation about an operation in Somalia. I don't remember them talking about anything like this quite so publicly. Issuing this statement, and I want to say it is from the Pentagon Press Secretary George Little, saying, quote, I can confirm that yesterday, October 4th, U.S. military personnel were involved in a counterterrorism operation against a known al-Shabaab terrorist. We are not prepared to provide additional detail at this time. But separately from this, uh, a, a U.S. official also commenting and saying that indeed the U.S. personnel, we now know those were U.S. Navy SEALs in that town in Somalia, quote, took all necessary precautions to avoid civilian casualties in this operation and disengaged after inflicting some al-Shabaab casualties. They are not able to identify who those al-Shabaab members were that they got, but this is the first official confirmation from a U.S. official that uh, the U.S. forces, we know them to be Navy SEALs, disengaged. They left the town. They came under heavy fire. There was concern about civilian casualties. Uh, and so the SEALs uh, essentially packed up and left. We don't have any details about the level of the casualties they inflicted and what exactly happened in that town in Somalia. It is known to be a significant al-Shabaab stronghold. Uh, and I have to say that in many places where al-Shabaab operates in Somalia, uh, they enact significant intimidation uh, and fear amongst the Somali people who live there. Often they are poor farmers, rural people who are severely intimidated by the al-Shabaab. So we don't know exactly at this hour what transpired in that town. We know the Navy SEALs went in, inflicted some casualties, came under fire, and got out of there.